Though the word statistics was coined in 18th century by a German scholar Gottfried Eichenwill, unsung its manifestations have been there ever since the human race stepped towards civilization. Etymologically, the word statistics is said to have been derived from Latin words status or the Italian word statista, meaning political state or a government. However, in the present world, the word statistics is used in four contexts, singular, plural, formula, and characteristics of sample. In the singular sense, statistics refer to a subject, the way we refer to physics, chemistry, or mathematics. Statistics as a subject deal with the study and applications of mathematically driven principles in the collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of the data for describing and inferring on some real life situations. In the plural sense, statistics refer to data conveying some numeric aspect, the number of persons visiting an office, the number of runs scored by a batsman, number of books in a library, or the like. The word statistics also refer to a formula. For instance, as statistician, we quite often refer to F, T, and Z statistics. Finally, the word statistics also refers to the characteristics of a sample. Well, in most of the statistical ventures, the data is collected from a subset of population as population is usually large and not attainable. We use statistical techniques on the samples of the population, but the aim is largely to understand the population. In other words, on the basis of characteristics of a sample, we try to get at the characteristics of a population. To distinguish our reference to characteristics of a sample, from that of a population, we refer to characteristics of sample as statistics and that of population by parameters. Thus, the word statistics is used in four contexts, singular, plural, formula, and characteristics of sample. And before we close, here is an exercise. Decode the following expression. Banking on statistics, we use statistics to get statistics from statistics. Thank you.